Hi, welcome to this tutorial and I'm going to show you how to create a pagination system using PHP. So the first thing we have here is a MySQL database with our alphabets from A to Z and data entries 1 to 26. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a PHP page, which I've done here, and connect. The first thing we want to do is connect to the database. I'm just using my local machine here, so it's going to be localhost, root username, uh, username is root, and password is empty. And our database name is pagination. So the next thing we want to do is define how many results we want per page. So to do that, we're going to first define a variable called results per page. Make that equal to 10 for now, and we can change that uh, later on as we wish. The next thing we want to do is find out the number of results stored in our database. So we want to create uh, a SQL query and say, select everything from our table name, which is alphabet. And then we want to return, uh, we want to run this query. So result is equal to my SQL I query connection and SQL. And if we do a number of results variable and you um, make that equal to my SQL I num rows and echo this number out you should get 27 or 26 so let's go to our uh, page index2.php call to undefined function missing an s there number of rows go back refresh and we get 26 and if we want to display all of um, the results we want to do a, a while statement. So while row is equal to my SQL line fetch array result and echo out row ID space equal row alphabet space and a bracket tag if we go back to our page we get results 1 to 26 a to z next we want to determine the number of total pages available to do that we're going to create a variable called number of pages and have that equal to the number of total results so number of results divided by results per page so if we echo this out we should get 2.6 so 2.6 which is 26 divided by 10 now if we change the results per page to 5 And refresh this we get 5.2 and for now we're just going to leave that at 10 so we'll have 2.6 so we want to round that up to the nearest integer so we're going to um, have a whole number of number of pages so we're going to use the PHP function called ceiling so wrap those variables around with a ceiling function. If we go back, we have three. Next, we want to um, display the links for each page. So to do that, we're going to create a for function. So for page 
and pages are variable for which page we are on. So page for page is equal to one, we're going to say while page number is less than or equal to the number of pages we want to increment one for the page result and echo out the link tag. And here we want to echo out the page number for the link. We want to create a space afterwards for, uh, for some margin. And then we want to create uh, for the link index two dot php question mark page variable and that is equal to echo out the page number. So if we go back to our page, refresh, get undefined variable number of pages. So number of pages. There's a missing half right there, so if we go back, save that, and go back, we have one, two, and three. So we want to, uh, we no longer need to echo the number of pages out, so we remove that, remove, remove the echo, and we go back, we have one, two, and three. So currently, we're on index2.php. If we click on one, we go to page one, click on two, we go to page two and we click on three, we go to page three. Next, we want to determine which page number the visitor is currently on. To do that, we're going to um, create a if a statement. So if the page variable is not set, so exclamation mark is set and get page if the page variable is not set we want to have the page variable is equal to one if the page variable is set however we want the page uh, variable is equal to get page next we want to determine the uh, SQL limit starting number for the results on the displaying page so to make sense of that uh, we want to retrieve uh, a selected, a specified set of results for each page. So if we want to go on, um, if we want to go on page one, we want results, page one, we want results uh, one to 10, one through 10. Page two, we want results one to, uh, 11 through, 20. Page 3, we want results from 21 to 30 and so on and so forth. So we have to create a SQL limit uh, func limit query to do this and um, to show you how it works we'll, we'll go back to our SQL query from above that we created uh, earlier and we're going, we're going to make a limit of let's say 0 and 5. So that's going to start from result number one and show you five results. So A, B, C, D, E. So we refresh the page. We have one through E, results one through five. So if we go back and we say, let's say we start from uh, F or the sixth letter, five, and we want to show 10 results. We go back, refresh the page. We start from result number six and show up to number 15 or F through O. So that's how the limit function works. And um, if we go back to our uh, data entry here, let's say we have page one, and currently we have 10 results per page, which is our variable here. Results per page is equal to 10. So 10 results per page, then the limit must be uh, zero and 10. For page two, 10 results per page, we have limit, 10 and 10. For page 3, we have 10 results per page. Limit 20 and 10. Page 4, 10 results per page. 
limit 30 and 10. Page 5, 10 results per page. Limit 40 and 10 and so on and so forth. So we have the page number determining uh, the starting limit number. So we have, let's say we have the starting limit number is equal to an algorithm of page one. So let's say page one minus one multiplied by 10. So we have page one, which is one minus one, which then becomes zero multiplied by 10 is equal to uh, zero. Zero multiplied by 10 is equal to zero. Then if we have page number two, we have um, two minus one multiplied by 10 is equal to 10. So one times 10 is equal to 10. And page number three is three minus one is two. Two multiplied by 10 is equal to 20. So what we have here is page number minus one multiplied by number of results per page. And that's how we determine the starting limit number. So if we take this concept and bring it back, we want to uh, create a starting limit number So I'm going to create a variable called this page first result, which is the starting limit number. And we want to have the page number minus one multiplied by results per page. So if we echo this out, On page one, we have page one, we have zero, which is a starting limit number. Page two, we should have 10. And page three, we have 20. 20 right here. So that's correct. So now we want to uh, create a new SQL uh, query to retrieve the selected results from the database. So SQL query is equal to select everything from the table alphabet with the limit of this page first result, comma, results per page. So now we want to uh, run this query. So result is equal to MySQL I query connection uh, SQL. And um, we're going to display the results from this query. So we're going to create a while statement again. While row is equal to MySQL I fetch results. Sorry, fetch array result. We want to echo row ID followed by space followed by row alphabet followed by a break tag. And we want to um, we don't. We no longer need the uh, echo from above, so we're going to comment that out. And if we go back here, we have a MySQL fetch array expects parameter. Okay, guys, I found an error, and I have uh, the table name is incorrect here, so that's that should be one p in alphabet. And if we go back, refresh the page, we have twenty one to twenty six through Z, which is page number three. If we go to page number one, we have A through J, or one to 10. And page number two, 
you have a labyrinth to 20 or a k to t. Now we can uh, go back to the file and change the number of results per page to, for example, 6. And if we go back, refresh the page, we have 5 pages. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's how to create a pagination system in PHP. Uh, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.